I want to say to you know to your people don't believe the media I'm not uh, you know a person related to the government I'm as I told you a free man to say whatever I want and it's a very safe country right. don't believe the media okay. there is no bomb here there is no tourists here Absolutely mental. Where are you from, Mustafa? New Zealand. Fifteen. I see. All right, guys. Good morning, made it to Hormuz Island. Came this morning, you saw from Keshem, got up at like 5.30 in the morning. There's the boat, about an hour boat ride, say goodbye to Hamid there. Absolute legend, hopefully I'm gonna meet him again when I go back to Tehran. Before we do anything here, gotta get coffee and maybe something to eat. So we're gonna go get that sorted out first because it's way too early to do anything before coffee. Then we'll go explore the island. So I've arrived at this little cafe that uh, Hamid recommended to me and I've got this eggplant dish that I had in Tehran and some nice flatbread. Coffee's on its way. Great way to start the day. Look at the view. Huh? Filming. Uh, got a little friend behind me. Check him out. <laughs> He's a bit shy. So delicious that food and nice little atmosphere there, it's family run business. Like many of them, the businesses and the cafes and the shops. It's kind of cool, you know, you feel, you know, like you're hanging around a family, it's got that nice cozy atmosphere. I finished there with a little Turkish coffee and a date on the side. They give you a date at the end of the meals to like lift your energy up after you eat heaps of food and you're feeling a little low. Then you throw in that date, spike your insulin, and then you're good to go for another hour or until you need to eat again, so. Pretty cool concept. There's an old, Portuguese fort up here because Portuguese you know they went everywhere didn't they so we're gonna have a look at this and then there's like this rainbow valley it looks unbelievable it's like a valley with different colored rock formations and they've got these little tuk-tuk things around here so I'll try find one of those so I came to the fort uh, built in 1515 from this red stone which they have in the mountains where we're gonna go to soon so you'll see kind of where it came from. This is one of the last surviving buildings of the Portuguese colonial rule in the Persian Gulf. They don't maintain it at all, it's basically falling apart. There's no... Bro, what are you talking about, man? Anyway, uh, there's some guys fishing down here. So I'm gonna have a look at that.
Bunu amin acı acı abire bunu ya dike. Van aver, terti tozan tuman. Yeah. Ayya tu aver, four aver, five aver. Okay. The top top. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Rambo Valley, yeah. the Red Beach. Red Beach. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Mr. Saber, nice driver. Okay. So we have arrived at the Red Beach here, guys. You can see the the red kind of rings down here and then the Persian Gulf in the background. So many boats on the horizon. Absolutely littered with boats. But what you need to have a look at is on the other side of the road because this is seriously something surreal. That's one of the most unique landscapes I think I've ever seen. If I'm not mistaken, the white is salt. But I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's salt. Uh, anyway, we're going to continue along the road. We're going to go to the Rainbow Valley. The tuk-tuk's super bumpy, so sorry if the shots just look like I'm holding a hot potato instead of a camera. Don't hold it for too long! As you can see guys, this place is absolutely mental. It's insane, it's beautiful, so unique. I'm gonna try and climb up some of these hills up here, see if I can get a good view, but we'll see how we go, because I think it's unpredictable terrain. So let's have a look. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. I'll see how griffy it is and see if I can climb, but that's the highest peak in this area, I think. So much fun. Don't fall down there. Bit bigger than it looked from down the bottom. All right, guys. <laughs> This was not, I was not expecting to get into an adventure like this, but whew, got up, <laughs> super steep. I'm not sure if how I'm gonna get down. Keep in mind, I'm doing this with the camera in my hand, so climbing with one hand, but the view guys so far, I think I'm gonna wait to show it to you till we get to the top. But this is seriously one of the most surreal Mars-like landscapes that I've come across ever. Continue on, keep the adrenaline pumping and uh, hopefully all goes well. See you up there. Extreme. There she blows. Guys, we did it. <sighs> Made it to the summit. This is extreme. Getting down, it's gonna be something else, but while we're here, let's make the most of it. Ready for the view? <sighs> Not bad. Sketchy as hell. I'm alive. Goodbye, Epic Mountain. <laughs> Merci. Okay. <laughs> Bye, man. Bye. Have a good day. Alright guys, so we are back in the kind of town centre of Hormus Island. I just bought a ferry ticket 
because uh, I'm heading back to Bandar Abbas where I originally got the train to from Tehran a couple of episodes ago. I've got like an hour and a half though until my ferry goes so I'm going for a wander into the town and uh, maybe have a look at some food or coffee or just see what's kind of the general atmosphere of this place. It's super chilled, super relaxed. This is kind of known as the, the hippie area, I've been told. Nice little walk there and grabbed another coffee from that same cafe I went to before. I've just come down to the the boat area, the harbour. I met another guy, this older Belgian guy. He's uh, super nice, so we're going to take the ferry together across to Bandar Abbas, which I believe is over there. But yeah, I forgot to tell you something interesting. The drive that that nice guy took me on in the tuk-tuk cost five US dollars for like two hours that he was like driving and waiting and stuff. So extremely affordable guys and um, the prices are quite interesting and there's lots of different aspects you need to think of. I will keep covering them um, you know briefly but I will make an in-depth video about money in Iran and exchange rates and how expensive things are and how cheap things can be. I'll introduce you to my buddy Derek from Belgium and then we'll head back to Bandar Abbas and I've got to exchange some money and find another place to stay. All right guys made it on the ferry and uh, this is my friend Derek. So, hello, hello everybody. Derek, where are you from? I'm from Belgium, Nick. And uh, why did you come to Iran? Because I always wanted to visit the country. Uh, there was a big dream that I already had when I was uh, 18, 19, 20 years, but because of the blockade between America and the nuclear program over here, I couldn't do that, but now uh, all of a sudden I could. And what are your uh, first impressions? Or? The real nice country. It's. Uh, Really nice people, beautiful, beautiful things like uh, the Kaluts in the south part, which is the uh, comparable with the Canyon, Grand Canyon in uh, America. Yeah. The hottest desert in in world, they say, in summer. It's like 70 degrees uh, in summer sometimes. So you can't you can't visit it in summer. So I went over there with like like sands, uh, sculptures, which are really amazing. If somebody was thinking about coming to Iran, but they were maybe scared or they thought that they were going to get into trouble or get uh, a terrorist attack, what, do you, what would you say to them? Mm, I should say, uh, don't listen to other people that say s such stuff. Right. Uh, you, should, you shouldn't listen to them because uh, it's a really, really nice country. Really nice country. I, I would prefer to come over again. Now I'm on my own, but I would like to prefer to, to come over with my girlfriend and my children and I would really uh, like to say to everybody just do it it's a very safe country yeah. I've never had the idea that someone tried to rip me out thanks for that Derek. No, my pleasure it. my pleasure So we have made it to Bandar Abbas. Check out that beautiful mosque behind me. Uh, so I've got a bit of time to kill because I want to exchange some money. I recently found out that paying for hotels in foreign currency is a sure way to lose a lot of money. And I'm meaning like 33% the hotels basically take from you if you use currency because they've got a government set rate which is completely different to the actual rate. But I'll go into that into more more detail when I make the money video like I mentioned but so I'm just waiting for an exchange office to open so I've come into the city and there's a bazaar that we're gonna go check out in a minute it's raining just gonna come and check out this mosque and then we'll go have a look at the bazaar but look at this beautiful thing it's okay Merci. guys didn't want to get in my shot they were waiting so polite 
Also, I was trying to find a toilet before. Went into a restaurant and I used Google Translate to tell them what I was looking for. And the guy literally walked with me for like two, three hundred meters. Gave me a big smile and walked away. Didn't expect anything, but just wanted to make sure I could find a toilet. in the bazaar and the sun has starting to come up. It was a bit of rubbish on the ground before because everybody packed up their stuff. Normally Iran is, uh, well, from what I've seen, the few places that I've been, they clean up uh, really well and they have a really good rubbish cleaning system. If you're wondering what happened to my friend Derek uh, from Belgium, he uh, went to find a hotel and I can't go to it, sorry. I can't go to a hotel until I exchange money because uh, of what I was saying, losing 33% unless I use the local currency. Really nice to meet a, another foreigner traveler like that. So yeah, now we're in the thick of it. So let's go around and see who we can meet. A few moments later. All right guys, so I've come into a, a shop here and I've met a lovely man called Ali. So this is your shop here? Yeah, yeah. What are you selling? Uh, I'm, say, I'm selling, you know, cosmetics, especially makeup, makeup materials and, you know, perfumes and what you see here, shavers for men, aftershave, body lotion, some, you know, hygienic uh, products for the body and the face, and that's it. Do you uh, like living in this country? Is it fun? Uh, frankly speaking, no. Okay. You know, if you see our, you know, bazaar, if you see our market, you know, we don't have enough uh, customers because of, you know, uh, losing uh, down our currency every day are getting you know in bad uh, economic situation therefore we don't have enough you know customers financially right. we are every day we are going down you know instead of progressing we are going down if i want to choose a country to live i prefer to be in a european country than being in iran uh, regarding safety and security our country is really great we are safe and inflation rate let's talk about inflation rate as a person who is in bazaar in the market is working financially i have to say that we don't have a stable inflation rate you buy a material you sell it again you want to buy it you have to pay more money to buy it and replace it and do you think uh, tourists coming to iran can help with that bringing money uh, into the country unfortunately yes you know yeah even directly and indirectly yeah. directly because of paying money for visa for i don't know for bringing the dollars and euros like this and uh, indirectly they come to our shop they buy something if we can uh, promote our historic you know situations tourists come to our country and they help us with anything right. you know with our culture they can help us first of all i should be frank with you i'm not a person of government you know i'm just a bazari a free man you of know course. i'm working for myself uh -huh. that's why if i'm saying something it's just my idea my opinion uh -huh. you know our country is really safe we don't have any special problem in our country but economic situation is very bad right, right. now inflation rate is very bad mm -hmm. you know regarding our security we are satisfied with our government if anybody is watching and they're thinking about coming to iran mm -hmm. would you tell them that they should come or yeah yeah the same as you if you come to iran you can find a deep you know culture deep history about security you can see we are Safe. It's, yeah, we are a safe country. And so, That's is it. it true that you're a terrorist? And <laughs> if I wanna, if I wanna kid you, yeah, yeah, we, uh, we don't like this. But no, right. and don't so believe, don't believe the media. And the third thing, financially, let's take a risk. For you, as a foreigner, when you wanna come to our country, because our currency is losing its value, it's very good for you. Yes. You know, cheap. For, yeah, for very, yeah, every day is getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, you know. We put on the television uh, in our countries, maybe, I don't know, in Europe or United mm -hmm. Kingdom, United States, mm -hmm. maybe New Zealand, and it represents Iran very badly. So all the people that haven't been to Iran, what would you tell them? Would you tell them that it's safe or it is dangerous? It's really safe. I have gone to Dubai, I've been to Dubai, to, you know, Turkey, to China even, you know. 
I, I don't want to compare my country with them, but you know, uh, my country is really safe. I want to say to you know, to your people, don't believe the media. Right. I'm talking because I'm talking about it because I'm not person related to the government. I'm, as I told you, a free man to say whatever I want, and it's a very safe country. Right. Don't believe the media. Okay. There is no bomb here. There is no tourists here. Iranian people are very friendly and very warm. You can't be alone in Iran. Wherever you want to go, right. if they understand that you're a foreigner, they invite you to their house. Nice to meet you, Ali. Nice to meet you. Take care. I got very happy to see you. Wish you luck. Yeah, you too. Maybe next you yeah. know, time you come to Iran, first of all, you call me, then I can. Okay. Make a date. That was a pretty cool hey. interaction there. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Wait. Good. <laughs> that guy's just smoking some shisha, having a great time. Uh, yeah, I'm Ali. What a great guy to just bump into it. Where are you from? New Zealand. New Zealand? Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, brother. What, what's your name? My name is Ali Reza. Ali. Ali. I just met a guy called Ali. What's your name? Nick. Nick? Yeah. What's up, buddy? How it is uh, you are in Bandarabas? You are in Iran. Right. I'm really pleased to meet you. Nice bro. to meet you, Ali. Alright, okay. take care. Bye bye. Alright guys, so that view you just saw, that is what I can see in front of me. I'm currently on the beach, that's the city of Bandar Abbas behind me. The exchange office doesn't open for another hour, so I thought I'd come down here and tell you my plans for tomorrow. But before we do that, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, the sponsor of this video again, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is a longtime supporter of the channel. And if you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes ranging from business to editing, filming. One that I've been doing lately is one of their Photoshop classes, which uh, I'm learning a new skill, which is pretty exciting. Learning all the ins and outs of Photoshop because it's an extremely technical program. I'm learning quite a lot through that. Skillshare and I are offering the first 500 people that click the link below two months free of their premium membership. So if you click that link below and sign up to the premium membership, which I think after the two months it's roughly ten dollars a month and then you get unlimited access to all their classes and they have thousands and thousands so best way to become a stronger version of yourself guys check out Skillshare tomorrow I'm gonna to go up the coast again I'm gonna keep moving this trip is absolutely incredible to be honest uh, so I'm gonna maybe get a bus to another city that has a really interesting mix of, of people. It's a city where in the past lots of slaves were brought from Africa. So now they're like integrated into society and they're Iranian people. So you've got this really kind of interesting fusion of cultures. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it there tomorrow, but I'll do my best. And I'm, then I'm gonna try and mix some hitchhiking in, a bus ride and uh, maybe some overnight trips. Not too sure. And then we're gonna be going up the border next to Iraq. Still in Iran, but next to the border of Iraq and seeing what's around there. I'm really excited and the last few days guys have been unreal. Like today, all those people that I've met today and yesterday with Hamid. If you didn't see the video with Hamid from yesterday, please check that out. We spent a whole day exploring the island of Kishim and we met some really interesting characters, saw some interesting sights. That's the plans guys. Let's keep these videos going. And Iran, I love you. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening and good night. Please let me know your thoughts of the Iran videos so far in the comments section below. I would love to hear your input guys. Peace out and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I'm not, uh, you know, a uh, person related to the government. I'm, as I told you, a free man to say whatever I want. And it's a very safe country. Right. Don't believe the media. There is no bomb here. There is no tourists here. 